PUBG Mobile version 3.2 is here. Let's see how Classic Mode has been updated. First, the Mobile Shop vehicle has been updated. A new item has been added to the Mobile Shop. Use Shop Tokens to purchase its key to turn the Mobile Shop into a drivable vehicle. When parked, it can still be used as a shop. When you have enough tokens, this vehicle can act as your mobile supply station. Find it in Erangel, Miramar, Nusa, or Livik, and try it out for yourself. Next, we've updated how vehicles explode. Now, when a vehicle's health reaches zero, it won't explode right away. Its engine will stop working and it will catch on fire, before exploding after a certain amount of time. But take note that a few special vehicles haven't received this update and will still explode immediately. Also, we've made some adjustments to firearms. We've lowered the P90's damage in Arena TDM. Furthermore, the QBZ has been added to Erangel and Miramar. In addition, there have been some adjustments to the Scorpion. Its base damage has increased and it reloads faster now. Aiming down sights is also quicker. Bullet spread from shooting while moving and the sway while shooting have also been reduced. We've also made some improvements to the general experience. Now, when marking supplies with Universal Mark or Quick Chat, the quantity of the marked supply will also be shown. As for updates to button customization, you can now quickly copy your arena mode layout to use in classic mode. Also, we've updated highlights. You can now see the companion that you brought with you. Highlights will record your brilliant performances and they can be played back. We've also made adjustments to the retention priority of highlights and adjusted the recording conditions for some clips, making it easier to retain highlights. And when a teammate joins you in a brilliant maneuver, the teammate's UID will show in the highlight. Come show off your skills in this new version and record even more exciting highlights. Regarding auto pickup improvements, there's now a setting for configuring whether the old melee weapon is discarded or stored in the backpack when picking up a new melee weapon. Furthermore, we've added a setting for sprinting to interrupt peeking, which will be enabled by default. You can toggle this setting as you wish. When disabled, if you perform a sprint while peeking, it won't interrupt peak mode and you won't start sprinting. We hope the new setting will improve your gaming experience. Now, you can bring multiple companions with you into a match, and a new display emote has been added. You can now choose to display your companions in the lobby and in matches via the display system. Companions added to the companion system will take turns showing off. This can be done in the lobby or in a match. As for creation mode, we've added a new camera view for victory dances. Come and experience it for yourself. That's it for the classic mode updates. Have any suggestions? Feel free to share them in the comments.